Okay. So thanks for coming today. Thanks, Emma, for the warm introduction. So I'm Douglas, co-founder of FOHA. And uh, let's talk a little bit about the energy problems here in Australia, right? So uh, the image you see behind me is becoming more common to see in Australia nowadays. It represents the massive adoption of solar system, especially in residential sites. Today, 20% of the Australian households already have a solar system. That's 2 million people. So that's good for them. It's new and renewable energy, but at the same time causes some troubles to the network. So let me explain why. The system was designed 100 years ago or more. And the energy is supposed to be flowing in one-way direction, from large power plants all the way through wires until your house. And these have worked quite well until a few years ago. But now, people are starting to generate their own energy. And this has started to create a two-way Every time someone installs a solar system at home, all the excess of energy generated is injected back into the grid. And two million houses doing this today, and the consequences of that. So what we see today, we see an energy overflow into the poles and wires. And the reason for that is that then the net distribution network providers start to put network constraints. By that, I mean in places where the concentration of solar systems is too high, you are not allowed to install a solar system anymore. So now we have this big dilemma. On one side, the amount of solar systems. On the other side, the constraints it generates. So how do we solve this? We see that three things need to be done. First thing, visibility control, and the third thing, we need the energy trading platform. We need visibility to see where the network constraints are and where the concentration of solar systems are. So then incentivize these people with solar systems to install more batteries or storage systems. That's because storage systems can help the system to balance the energy in the network. Second thing, we need control. The energy operator and the distribution network providers should be allowed to control your own device to balance the energy in the network. They can do this today without control. The third thing we need is an energy trading platform. Because these, ass these assets still belong to you, it's your battery. They should be able to pay you for the usage of your resource. So our platform integrates stability, control, and energy trading in an interactive system to connect users and energy utilities. As an example, you are going to start to receive messages one on the screen. We have a heat wave predicted for tomorrow, and we need to operate your battery. Are you interested in that? If you say yes, the operator is going to assume control of your battery, and you are going to get paid for the usage of your resource. So as a software company, we are developing two different platforms, two business models. The first one is the energy trading platform. Uh, in the energy trading platform, we take a small fee from every transaction done. In the second platform, the microgrid controller, we take a small percentage of energy we save to the building. So behind a great project, we have an amazing team working on that. So allow me to introduce them to you. My team has, an, on average, 10 years of experience working in large multinational corporations like Bosch and Volvo. Uh, my team have a broad international experience working in countries like uh, Germany, Argentina, China, and USA. Our team to be a global company, and our uh, startup was built to, to be a global company. So that's why we are here in Australia today. And we want you to go global with us. So let me show some traction that interests you. Foha is going to receive this year an investment of 2.4 million Australian to deploy the first pilot plant in Brazil. And here in Australia, things are also moving fast to us. I could not be happier, and uh, I'm very pleased to announce this big partnership in Australia. CDM and FOHA are working together on a feasibility study in a microgrid in one of the most iconic buildings in Melbourne, the Queen Victoria Market. <laughs> So 
a microgrid could bring a lot of benefits to the market. Imagine that the market have this huge amount of area that could be used to a new solar system. All the energy generated in the solar system could be stored in a battery. And with the right control in a microgrid controller, that is the solution we develop, we could manage this energy to bring some benefits. If deployed, this microgrid could bring these three major benefits to the market. First, reduce the energy in the market. Second, a big battery system or a storage system could help the network around the market to balance the energy flowing in the network. And third, and most important, we could support the market to create community by potentially allowing the market to provide surplus energy to market traders and a wider community, including public schools and local residents. So thanks again for this big partnership with City of Melbourne. Yeah. So thanks to Foja. We are going to set up our office here in Melbourne, uh, at least until the end of the year, so we can have some talks about it. And we are looking to moving forward on our conversations with partners. So if you are interested in microgrids and energy trading platforms, please come talk to me after the presentations. This is the future of energy. So let's join us in this global change. Thank you. Thank you.